Hey everyone, welcome back to How To Do It. I'm so glad you're here with me today. I hope you've had a great day so far. Today, I wanted to try something different that I've never had before and see how it turns out. So we are going to make a roasted acorn squash. I have no idea. I've never had acorn squash before. I don't know what it looks like on the inside, but I've got my oven preheated to 400. And I'm gonna take a little bit of coconut oil, but use whatever oil you have on hand. And I'm just gonna grease my baking sheet. I like using my hands to grease my baking sheet with coconut oil because it's a great moisturizer. And if you see any bits on my baking sheet, um, I'm just cooking this for me. And I had peanut butter bananas on that in the freezer for the past three days. So, you know, let's not judge. Let's not judge. Everything's fine. I'm gonna wash my hands just because I don't want to slip when using my knife. Okay, let's cut into this and see how she looks. It's a bit firmer than I anticipated. It's like cutting into a watermelon rind. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. I think. That's not quite evenly in half, but it'll do. Okay, so it looks like a cantaloupe on the inside. I'm assuming we scooped the guts out. Okay. This is kind of like how you do pumpkins. Like you get all the stringy bits out. Okay, that's good enough for me. And do the same thing on this side. And this is why I wash my hands after touching the coconut oil because it is slippery enough on its own without the help of the oil. I'm sure there's a better tool to use for this, but we're just gonna do it the old fashioned way. Okay, you know what? That's good enough for me. Okay. Gosh, it just doesn't wanna come off. Okay, so put those on your greased baking sheet. Get all this out of the way. Rinse a little bit. And we're going to put a little bit of coconut oil on the flesh of these. And our baking sheet is already greased, so you don't really need to do the bottoms, but if you've got some extra, go ahead. Okay, rinse your hands off again. really 
season these with whatever you want. I'm going to use salt, pepper, cinnamon, a little bit of onion and garlic powder. And some paprika. Just measure with your heart with the seasonings. Some onion powder. Paprika. Cinnamon. Just a little bit. Garlic. It smells good. Okay, I'm going to pop these in the oven at 400 for 40 minutes. Okay. And to top these, once they come out of the oven, we are going to do like a warm autumn glaze for these. So I've got a, a little bit of dairy-free cheese. Use whatever you like, whatever you can find or whatever you have on hand. I'm going to add some pecans. If you don't like nuts or if you don't like pecans, you're allergic. Use what you do like for what you can have. I'm just going to very lightly crush these up. I don't really measure anything. I feel like you guys already know this, so just use your best judgment. That's That feels good. That feels good to me. I'm gonna add some maple syrup for a little bit of sweetness. Just, you know, whatever you feel is right. That looks pretty good to me. You can do honey too, that might be good. And I always like to add some dried fruit when and where I can. I've got some currants on hand. You could also do raisins or cranberries. I think that would be good. So I'm just gonna do a good handful of those. And mix that together. And everything should kind of melt together um, once you put it on the acorn squash, as soon as it's out of the oven, I'm just going to do half and half, one on each. I think that looks really good. 